Hey. Look at that guy. Hey. You're really uh, gaining a lot of weight, huh? <laughs> well, you can see uh, this uh, model that I wanted to show was uh, his Styracosaurus. And uh, the uh, creature you see behind me in flesh, he was sort of uh, not quite as big as Triceratops, but still in all like a rhinoceros kind of size. And this was the uh, skull that we made in foam and thin set. And it matches pretty close to. Uh, this guy. If you look at the the way the horns and stuff go. So I just wanted to show you one fleshed out, and then <laughs> kind of get to play around with the skull, how it would look if it was turning its head. You know. prepping these models for uh, an exhibit. Uh, these guys, from what I understand, were a centrosaur in the centrosaur family. They had these big openings in the shield, not like solid like Triceratops. And, uh, but he's always been one of my favorites because of this giant spikes that he had on the edge of the frill. And, uh, big nose horn. Some of them I think even had a forwardly curved horn on the nose. But you can see from the image there and the uh, did a nice uh, nice job of, of the image. An unknown artist I just sort of grabbed a, a picture that looked pretty decent from the uh, and then you can see the skull a little closer up. Styracosaurus. You are a little playing in emotion. <laughs>